one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a moment of silence, please. Okay, thank you. Um, well, welcome everybody's here and everybody will be watching or will be watching later. Also ask you to put your phones on silence if you haven't already. Uh, roll calls next and today I'm gonna start with Commissioner Coberson. Here. Mr. Cos. Here. I'm here. Mr. Smith. Here. Mr. Stevens. Here. I didn't see any public comments, so I'll move on to administrative business. Mark, do you have anything? County Commissioners? Yes, sir. Go right um, Go ahead, Dan. You know, I believe last week we got a request about uh, paying for a porta potty for the Veterans Day Parade. Yep. We followed up with that. Or do we need to do anything on that? Yes, we did receive a request. I'll let them know that we do not have funds available for that request. You know, one thing I was going to, Doug, you bring up an excellent point. It's $100. I uh, we, I'll One of them was putting 20 and take care of it. And if it's all right, the county commissioners will leave the money with Doug. We trust him, I think, and he'll get it back to him. That's all right with you all. Doug? I don't know who to give it to. No, I'm, uh, okay, Dave, Mark? Mark. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long <laughs> week, guys. I apologize. I'll give it to Mark and let him. Uh, I don't think that's kind of you. You I am, trusted me. I, I was going to say, I'm not, I am not as trustworthy as you, Doug. So. Well, evidently not, but we'll leave it to you with you anyways. Okay. It's okay. I'll, I'll make good. sure it gets to the appropriate. Uh, okay. That, that sounds great. Thanks for bringing that up, Doug. All right. Anything else from commissioners? I have one more thing. Yes, sir. And it's probably, because we don't have a lot here, on our, this is probably the uh, county councilor, senior county councilor, on the opioid settlement, what is the county's, what are we going to do with them funds? Are we going to leave them with the health department? With, uh, or what are we going to do? Commissioner, those funds are currently in a segregated account that the county clerk set up, which is the proper means of uh, handling those funds. Those funds must be used for certain designated uses. Uh, I sent a memo around. I'm not sure if you saw it. There are 135 plus specific listed uses available to you, but they generally fall in the category of treatment of opioid addiction education on it, uh, attempts to remediate the uh, ill effects of it. The county will be receiving funds from time to time from the state of Kansas. We've set up a direct deposit system. Those funds will be electronically deposited. They'll be segregated and used only for those purposes. Once we get an idea of what you might expect to receive from the state, uh, I'm sure the county administrator and the health department officials will present a plan to you on how to expend those funds. Okay, I thought we already had the money. You have you have some money. Okay. And I can't tell you how much you should expect to get. Roughly, if it were done on the per capita basis that is initially represented by the state, the county should receive over the 20-year period of the payments $1.35 million. Okay. So we'll have to get together and come up with a, or approve a plan for them. So uh, going forward, like any new revenue source, we would included in next year's budget process so that you can um, program for it so it's not just a uh, it, it's not just a one-time payment it's gonna, like uh, county councilor said it'll be over a 20-year period so okay now is this something that like school districts would be able to apply for for education on this or is this something? potentially okay all right so it's prorated equally you're not talking about much money maybe sixty thousand dollars a year Roughly, Commissioner. So it's not a lot, but it's something. Well, we've got to make sure it's spent right, though. If we have to pay it back, we have to pay it probably back three times what it is if we didn't spend it right. And commissioners, I must caution you, even though there's an initial statement that it might be done largely on per capita basis, there's no strict formula for that. So my suggestion would be that, follow what Mark said, Wait about a year, and that'll give you a general idea of what you might expect to receive on an annual basis. Okay. Unfortunately, we have a history when um, my funds are routed through the state. There's a history that sometimes they don't make it to the end. Mm -hmm. Imagine that. 
And as it is a stream of income, the streams sometimes dry up. Okay, now does the state keep a portion of this back for administrative fees? Yes. Oh, I'm sure they will. The majority of it. The state will be keeping 75% of the overall settlement proceeds, distributing 25% to the participating municipalities. That 75% retained by the state will be distributed through a grant process. Okay. All right. Well, that's all I have. Thank you. Uh, and this uh, follow-up question to what I visited with you earlier, uh, County Counselor. Uh, Call Valley, uh, the process of where we're at on the, the lawsuit, whether they ap uh, appealed or not, can you kind of update the, the public on that? The 30-day period, because it ended over a weekend, <coughs> technically expired. 30-day period to, for either party to file for a petition review to the Kansas Supreme Court expired by my calculation on Monday. Uh, our uh, legal counsel has checked the court docket, and it, the mandate still has not been issued, nor uh, can we state with certainty that no petition for review has not been filed. Well, thank you. Thank you, Mike. Anybody else? Okay, let's uh, go over to the consent agenda. Any agenda item consent needs to be pulled? If not, Mr. Chairman, I move that we accept the consent agenda as presented. Second. Motion to second. Any discussion? Mr. Colson? Aye. Mr. Collins? Aye. Aye. Mr. Smith? Aye. Mr. Stevens? Aye. <coughs> okay. Next thing we have is uh, <coughs> this is no presentation. We need to need an exec executive. Yeah, I think so. Dave, just go right into it. Mr. Chairman, I move that the board recess for a closed executive meeting for the discussion of pending lit Pending litigation involving the legal interest of the county is justified by KSA 75-4319B2 for the consultation with legal counsel for the for the board, which should be deemed privileged in the attorney-client relationship, and that the board resume the meeting room at 10:05. And uh, the present in the executive session will be Commissioner Culverson, Cause, Mike Smith, Doug Smith. And Commissioner Stevens, Senior County Counselor David Van Perry's Administrator and County Administrator Mark Loughley, and Legal Counsel Andrew Holder. Second. Motion second. Mr. Culberson? Aye. Mr. Cause? Aye. I vote aye. Mr. Smith? Aye. Mr. Stevens? Aye. We are heading there. Let the record show that the board has returned to regular session at 10.05. No action was taken. No decisions were made. The subject was limited to the legal interest of the county. Mr. Chairman, I move that... Uh, board uh, recess for a closed executive meeting for the discussion of pending litigation involving the legal interest of the county is justified by KSA 75-4319B2 for the consultation with legal counsel for the board which could be deemed privileged in the attorney-client relationship and that the board resume open meeting at 1030 in the meeting room of the board present in the executive meeting will be Commissioner Culverson Cause, Mike Smith, Doug Smith, Commissioner Stevens, Senior County Counselor David Van Perry's, County Administrator Mark Loffrey, and Legal Counsel Andrew Holder. Second. Motion and second. I'll start. Commissioner Culberson? Aye. Commissioner Cause? Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Smith? Aye. Commissioner Stevens? Aye. Let the record show the board has returned to regular session at 1030. No action was taken and no decisions were made. The subject was limited to legal interest of the county. All righty. We saw and there was nobody signed up for the other, so I'm going to go straight to the county commissioners. Y'all have anything? Jeff, you have anything, sir? I don't. Vicki? Um, let's see. Had the um, uh, meeting with Frank White the third on Friday, which went very well. And they have indicated that they're going to do and start trying to work in earnest with Leavenworth County to develop some plans for some additional transit systems services in the county and we've been assigned somebody through the uh, transit authority that will be our liaison and to make contact with which is I think is a very positive thing so looking forward to that um, I think that's it that was a good meeting sounds like a good meeting I don't have anything done uh, Fairmount Township last week had Northeast Kansas officials meeting in Marysville last Friday and we got a few minutes with uh, the commissioners in Northeast Kansas. Uh, of course, 
brought up the local ad valorem tax, and then also there was one county in northeast Kansas that remained revenue neutral, and that's a small county that has township road systems. Everybody else was beyond revenue neutral. Uh, we'll have uh, Basher City Council tonight, and I had Mid America Regional Council yesterday. Oh, and I did have the workforce partnership, partnership workforce partnership yesterday. It's busy. Anything else, guys? Uh, don't think so. Okay. Mike? Uh, tomorrow night at the Public Library in Tonganoxie, uh, Dave Traver from Kansas Policy Institute is going to be there. He's going to be basically talking about the baseline on what property taxes in Kansas, how the system works right now, and and then eventually we'll get to the point of talking about maybe some proposals to change it. Very good. Okay, I need a motion to adjourn. I just one more thing. Go ahead, Doug. Um, earlier, you gentlemen were talking about the state of Kansas keeps back a portion. <coughs> when they give out grants, is that on every grant they give out, the state keeps back a percentage? For admin. Or admin? Yeah, I wonder about that, too. Do you know? I, I don't know. Okay. I think so. It's just... I was just wondering, and I didn't know, you know, if any of uh, our, like LCDC or Port Authority, if they give out grants, do they keep anything back on that? Do you know? Does anybody know? If they, keep, if they, keep, if they get a grant for a fee. business or something, do they keep back any portion of it for any admin fees no. or anything? No. They don't. They mm -hmm. give 100%. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Commissioner Stevens talked about uh, earlier, talked about Call Valley. So where are we at? That just it's came and passed. It's it's went. Uh, so what are what are they? What are, can we expect in the future on this? I would say by next Wednesday there should be some more finality as to the status of the case. Okay, and we haven't had any correspondence or anything from them. They haven't reached out. No. Or anything. Okay. Second. That's all I have. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Commissioner Culberson? Aye. Commissioner Cause? Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Smith? Aye. Commissioner Stevens? Aye. We are adjourned.